What's up guys? Today I just wanted to shoot a video over some of my favorite lipsticks um, right now. When I post an Instagram photo or a YouTube video, I'm getting the most questions on lipstick color. So that's why I'm doing that today. I just kind of wanted to round up my top favorites and just do them all in one video. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. I'm gonna put it right here. That way you can just click it and you are subscribed. And let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. I'm gonna start out with Maybelline Blushing Beige. And this is more of just like an almost barely there color. This is definitely a nude more on the pink side. As you can see, it's got almost no color to it. It's really, really pretty when you're wearing whites and pinks for winter, so I think this kind of complements well without wearing an actual pink, because it's got a little bit of nude to it. The next nude we have is NYX in the color LSS522. And this um, this nude is more on the mauve kind of brown side. So this one's gonna show up a little bit more than the one that I just put on. This one can get all over the place, so it's probably best to line your lips first and then apply this one because it kind of is, it's a little bit, it's not a super matte lipstick. It's got a little bit of liquid in it, so it's easy to get all over the place. So definitely line it first and then Put your lipstick on. This is an unfair game that I never win. I said it last night was great, but Next we have Bronzy by L'Oreal. This is probably my my newest lip color. I think I've worn it maybe three times, but I've gotten so many compliments when I do wear it. And this is something that I would roll up the tube and say, oh, this color is so weird and not for me. But I took a chance and I bought it and I actually love it. I don't necessarily think you need a lip liner with this one because it's pretty matte, it stays in place, it smells nice. Next I have Milani's Matte Naked in um, the number 61 and this is um, a true, true, true mauve with uh, hardly any color at all, and I think it complements well with any outfit or any time of day. So I personally love, love this one. Most matte lipsticks completely dry out my lips. I love the look of a matte finish, but I can't wear them because it always dries out my lips, but this stuff feels like chapstick. It is so amazing. There's so much moisture to this, so you get the matte finish without the cracking and the drying throughout the day. So for me, this is the perfect matte, it's the perfect color. So good job, Milani, this stuff absolutely rocks. Next I have Purple Prelude by L'Oreal. This is more of a gloss rather than an actual lipstick, so it's got a gloss brush with it and you know this is another one of those colors that I looked at and I was like this is not for me but I bought it anyways and I love it I get so many compliments on it and um, it's also very moisturized as well which is great I'm actually really surprised that I love this so much because I hate wearing gloss because I feel like it makes my lips look way bigger than I want them to be. Um, every time I wear a gloss, people are like, well, did you do something to your lips? And I'm like, no, it just the gloss makes them look huge. So um, this is a gloss that I can wear without feeling like I have two balloons attached to my face. So I love this. It is like a true purple, which is crazy because I never thought I would be a purple lipstick wearer, but I totally am now thanks to this color. My next color is also another one by Milani. It is Rose Femme, and I've been wearing this for about two months now. I love it. It's 
a mauve slash purple color. So it's basically a combination of purple prelude and matte naked. Um, if these two had a baby, this is what it would be. So this is obviously my go-to, my favorite. It's something that I carry in my purse all the time. And last but not least, we have Singria by Milani. As you can tell, I love Milani. Mil 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 as you can tell, I love Milani's lipsticks. They stay on all day long and they never smear or smudge. And it is basically what you would think a sangria would look like. It is a purplish kind of pink mixture with maybe a little bit of like a red undertone. It is my go-to nighttime color for fall, winter, and probably will be for summer because it does have a little bit of that um, kind of pinkish red color that you can kind of see. I would definitely use a liner with this one only because it is so dark and any little slip up you can see. I didn't use a liner and I think I've got like a little bit of kind of weird things happening there. Make sure that your new apartment has as much storage as you can get. And if it doesn't, don't bring a lot of crap with you. Nobody will follow that rule. I feel like we did a little bit. We tried to condense, but we still brought too much stuff. To find any little nook and yeah. cranny that you can to shove things in. Exactly. We're, we're condensing. That's what we're doing for the rest of the day. We 